Yeah, what's up fam? We are back again with another tutorial and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get heavy and dirty drums. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be using a paid VSC plugin to achieve that and I'll also be showing you guys some stock plugins you can use to achieve that same thing. So with a paid VST plugin, I'll be using Thickify, you know, I reviewed this plugin some months ago. So the thing with this plugin is we have a saturation knob here and we have a thickness knob here you know we have the tone here we have the level here then we have the oversampling here we have the auto gain also here in the bypass now let's check it out and see how it works but first let's play the drums let's see how you know it sounds raw yep so that's how it sounds it sounds raw and you know it's lifeless so let's add some life into it so let me enable it so i've i've sent everything to ascend the 808 is there the cake the hi-hats the percussion and the snare everything is linked to you know this send here so now let's start you know boosting things so let's start with the thickness <laughs> You know, so have you realized how uh, you know it brings everything in your face and it adds a little bit of distortion to the drums okay so that's how it will sound with thickify so let me take that off then let's try the free version for the stock plugin version i'm going to be using fruity limiter and the parametric eq you know let's let's start with the fruity limiter so let me start with the limit <laughs> sound so first what i'll do is to add some dirtiness and drive or saturation to the drums this is what i'll do i'll reduce the attack reduce the release reduce the sus sustain now let's listen to how it sounds <laughs> As you can hear, it's, it's already, you know, doing something. So let me bypass it and unbypass it again. Let's listen to how it sounds. Now let's put it on. Okay, so for the second one, I'll go to the comp, compression. So with the threshold, I'll lower the threshold, I'll increase the knee, then increase the, the ratio too. Then let me reduce the release here. So now let's listen to how it sounds. So what I'll do now is I'll, I'll reset this fader. So now let's listen to it. So let's start working on the EQ. So with the EQ, let me expand it. So with the EQ, this is what we'll do. Let me drag the one knob here. Let me reset it here. Then let me drag the two here. Then I'll come to the five, the five, uh, you know, this circle or knob here. Then I'll bring it down. You know, because we have some distortion in this with the drums, with the five, the frequency range from the here, the one K frequency range is for the vocal. So in order for the vocal not to be clashing with, you know, the distortion coming from the drums and all those stuff, we just lower it here. Then we increase the, the seven. Now let's listen to how it sounds. Okay, so now let's listen to, you know, let's compare the two, the paid and the free trick. So there's the paid. Now 
Now let's listen to the free or the stock plugin version of this trick. Yep, so that's how the two sound, you know, with a paid version, you know, the, the distortion is kind of clean, you understand? The distortion is kind of clean and fat, but with a free version, the distortion is kind of thin. There's more you can do to this free version, you know, there's more you can do to, you know, shape, you know, really shape how your drums will sound. Uh, make sure you check out the, the paid version, you know, the link will be in the description, you know, use my affiliate link in order to, you know, get a discount when you are going to purchase it. So, see you in the next tutorial. Peace out.